Hello, hello. This is Paula from Paula's Wonderful Life. And I spent the afternoon thrifting and antique shopping. I went to Dollar Tree and I'm trying to find spring decor so that I can do a tablescape and set up my Easter table with little vignettes and, you know, little spring-like decor. And I did really, really good. Really, really good. As a matter of fact, um, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Crazy Frank's. Um, if you're not from Wisconsin, you probably have never heard it, but Crazy Frank's is a place where you rent a booth and you mark your own prices and you sell whatever your little heart desires. And it's the place to go if you're into collecting because if you can't find it anywhere, you'll find it there, trust me. I pick up stuff and look at it like, what is this? I mean, it's got every little doodad, knickknack, um, hardware, tool, anything vintage you've ever dreamed of. Anything, anything vintage. Furniture, kitchen, appliances. I mean, it's got everything. And I love going there. But be warned, when you go there, you're gonna spend at least an hour, hour and a half, almost two hours, if you take your time and pick everything up and look at it, because it is, it is a wonderful place if you like to thrift um, and look for vintage items. And I went to my Dollar Tree, and I also went to my local thrift store here in town. I didn't find too much at my local thrift store, but whatever, some days you hit the jackpot, other days, you know, it is what it is. So first, I'm gonna show you what I got at my Dollar Tree. And they've got these little candles, and they're really, really cute because they're like hobnail, I think is what you call that. Um, and they had these in yellow, light green, I think they had them in blue. But I don't know about you, but nothing screams spring like yellow. I just love the color yellow. It's fresh, it's cheerful, and when you pair it with a little light green or a little blue, it just screams spring to me. <laughs> so I got a couple of these and they were $1.25 each. Cute. Um, not sure what they smell like, but it'll be nice for my Easter table. Cute, cute, cute. So I got those. And then I have a small mug rack. And it's one of those mug trees. It's like cylinder and it's got the hooks coming out all around. And I saw on Pinterest um, where you could hang flower pots. Now these are pretty raw looking to me. So I thought if I took some paint or maybe some of my dark um, wax that I have that I seal furniture with, I'm pretty sure I can darken these up and make them look more aged. So we're gonna do that and then I'll show you how I use that on my tablescape. Just one moment, please. Sorry about that. Somebody was at the door. I'm surprised the dog didn't bark. If you hear my dog barking, excuse. I mean, he's a little miniature schnauzer and they are known for barking. He's my little watchdog and I love him to death. <laughs> so if he barks, excuse me. And then I needed some florals. Now I could have went to my local Walmart, but I don't know about you, but the price of things are going way, way up. And I'm not going to pay $5 for a pick of florals. I'm sorry. Um, sometimes more than that. 5 to $8, I think they are. They're beautiful, but I'm not doing it. So I found these, and these are $1.25 per pick. But look how spring-like these are. Daisies. I don't know. I don't know what these are. 
it just just says spike but a little pop of peach and that yellow it just screams spring to me so I got let's see one two three four five six seven seven of them I probably paid for seven of these the same as I would for one large pick at Walmart so I'm really really happy about this so I got that and that is pretty much all I got from my Dollar Tree here in town and then the next items I'm going to show you I got from my local thrift store like I said I didn't really have good luck I went Monday before work I went Tuesday morning and I also went Wednesday morning because um, our thrift store here in town they're not open Saturday or Sunday so if somebody donates on the weekend or maybe Friday it probably doesn't get put out on the floor till about Tuesday or Wednesday that's my guess so I usually wait till Wednesday but I went all three days just in case there was something there because I had nothing better to do and I found this cute floppy little hat and I just think it's adorable I mean I can wear this for uh, the derby race at the local tavern here in town we have a little Kentucky Derby day so that's that's cute and it says Sonoma on there and I got that for two dollars it's cute it would even be cute hanging on a hook or on the back of a chair looks spring to me and then I am a sucker like I said for glass bowls I don't know if this was like a glass mixing bowl for a stand-up mixer or not it's pretty heavy and I could also do that I mean I have a I have a stand-up mixer and I can always take the stainless steel one out of there and just plop that in there with like maybe a little decorative spring towel for a display on my counter but I got this and like I said a nice spring salad looks good in a glass bowl two dollars for this and that is heavy duty and then I got myself a nice pair of shoes now I normally don't purchase shoes from the thrift store because the ones that are in my size they're pretty ratty because I have a pretty average size foot seven and a half eight foot so when I go thrifting for shoes the size fives and the sixes there's some really cute shoes but I can't get them because they're not gonna fit me <laughs> so I got these and they're really cute pair of slides and they got a low heel and they're just really comfy to wear around the house or you could even wear them with a a nice dress summery dress so I got those and I can't remember oh yeah two dollars two dollars for these so I just got those three items at my local thrift store and now I'm going oh no I didn't sorry 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 I always pick these up <clears throat> 49 cents each at my local thrift store and they got the little prop and I just love them you could put pressed flowers in these little ones that would be pretty with like some decorative paper in the background or even some brown brown paper and put some pressed flowers in these and prop them up on a shelf that's what I think I might do actually but really cute for 49 cents each I always pick up those frames when I see them all right, next I'm going to show you everything I got at Crazy Frank's in Mineral Point, Wisconsin. And I am really happy because I spent, let's see, $36 total on everything I'm going to show you here. So I think I did really, really good in my selection. So first thing I'm going to show you is this is made in Japan and it's really sweet um, it's ceramic but at one time it was a little electric coffee pot but the cord 
you know, it doesn't work anymore. I probably wouldn't use it even if it was still on there. But there's some crazing going on. I'm not sure the age, but it just looks really, really sweet. And so I got this. And they take the prices off. So I'm pretty sure this was $8 and it was 50% off. So I got this for $4. Really, really cute. Some of the boos, they do hold their own sales and they have like 20%, 40%, 50% off. So I lucked out there. And then, oh, I found a flat sheet. I found a flat sheet and this was $1.99. And like I said before, I am not afraid to use these for a table covering. And I think that's what I'm going to do for my spring Easter table. I mean, come on. How sweet is that? The yellow and the blues. So pretty. And I will be doing a video on how I decorate my table for Easter. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, and then I got this. It's like a, I don't know, for, for pills, for rings, but it's so sweet. It probably could have been for some salt, you know, um, made in China once again. And this here was $3.99 or $3 at Crazy Frank's, but look at that. So cute. So cute. I love little things like this. Love them. And then, look at this book. Yellow. There's bunnies on it. It's old. Better Homes and Gardens Storybook. And it's pretty dilapidated, but I don't care. I'm going to use it in my table decor. And I'm trying to find a cup red and I don't see one that pops out at me here. So, but look at how the little red hen, look at how it reads. It's so cute. But I'm just going to use that on the table for decor. And then next to it, I found this rabbit. And how sweet is he? Isn't he sweet? He's a ceramic. But look, look at his little face. So sweet. I love little brown rabbits. So cute. And if I remember correctly, he was $5. And this book here, was four dollars and I think totally worth it sorry what I consider a treasure somebody else might consider junk so there's that and then I found this this is sweet somebody made this it's got a name on the back M Casey but look at that isn't that cute and that will look pretty and spring-like on my tablescape. And then I'm a sucker for creamers. So I found this one. And this was three. This was three dollars. There's no stamp or anything, but I thought that would be really cute with some toothpicks in there. I like the green. And then this one is just a slightly larger, and it says Mayor. China linden and it's got like a brown and I thought that would be really pretty for my Thanksgiving or my fall tablescape I just put some toothpicks in there for people to use or maybe a little floral like some leaves or something in there for my table so those were cute and that was off that was like five dollars I paid a little bit more for that one and then I saw these and these were each $1.99, but look at these, they're green. And there was two of them. And I can't see, what's, oh, it says Canada. 
So I'm not sure what these are for, but they're cute on the hutch. They're cute on the shelf in my kitchen, on my tablescape, my little vignette that I got going with my greens and my blues and my yellows. So scored there. And then this here, this here was $4, but I thought this was beautiful. And I like that it's, it's like a tea dyed. <clears throat> so that's pretty neutral. I can use that for anything. I like what I'm seeing here so far. And I'm going to add to it with things that I already have. So I'm really excited to show you. And then I got a couple books. And these were $3 each, but I love the color. And I like using books to prop, you know, like to stack or to prop things. And they're just really pretty. You can stack them with the pages showing, or you can stack them with the pine or the spine showing. And I'm really not sure this one here, I'm not even going to attempt. It's like in a foreign language here. I have no idea. It, the whole book, the whole book, the dialect is all foreign and I'm not even going to guess what language it is. This one here, um, there's songs and poems. Book of Poetry, the Viking Book of Poetry of the English speaking world. Okay. This is 1941. I love poetry. So not only will I be decorating with this, but I will also be reading this. Very nice, very good deal. And then, look at this. It is a tray shaped like a basket. Adorable, hand woven. Let's see, oh, Harry and David. So at some point in time, this was full of fruit. It's probably a gift around Christmas time. But look at that, wouldn't that be sweet? And then I can like arrange stuff on there, on my tablescape. So this was $12. Very, very sweet, and it's wood. Very solid. And then I only have one more item. And excuse me, I gotta reach. This here was $5, and I bought it because I liked all the rusty goodness here. It's rusty, it's metal. I can use this outside when I decorate my porch. Um, but I think I'm going to display something inside here, like maybe a little bird, eggs, or wait, maybe, will my bunny fit in here? Oh, cute, cute, look at that, sweet, so I think I did pretty good. I also want to show you something that a sweet, dear friend of mine, she reached out to me and she asked me if I wanted this. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'll take it. Of course. Give me all your junk. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I will take it. So let me flip you around here if I can. And let me show you. Excuse me. Look at this basket. Are you kidding me? I have it propped open right now. But she said that her dad used it for storage. He stored his sketches. He must have been an artist of some kind. But, uh, yeah, it looks old. It's got little wooden feet. It's really cute. And I think 
It's adorable. And if anybody knows what I can use, it looks a little dry and brittle. If anybody knows what I can use, and there's a wood bottom, to condition it, um, could you please tell me in comments what you would use? Because I really want to preserve this pretty little chest. So yeah, I was very, very excited about that. So that was my little thrift haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be showing you how I use these for my tablescape for my Easter. I'm going to have Easter brunch next Saturday. So I will probably do another video. Oh, I'm saying probably around on Saturday or Sunday, maybe. Um, and then I'll probably do one next Tuesday or Wednesday showing you some recipes that I plan on making. And yeah, we'll just go from there. I do have a new table coming. I'm really excited about it because it's an antique table and it's got like two or three leaves to it and it, I think it's like eight foot when it's fully extended and I'm really excited about that because then it can fit everybody around the dining room table for our meal. So I'll show you that and I'll show you how I decorate it. All right, once again, this is Paula from Paula's Wonderful Life and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and just come along for all the fun, all the good stuff. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye.